It's time for the secondaries. It's time for the secondaries. It's time for the secondaries. Hey, it's time for the secondaries. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Aaliyah Me. For those of you who are first time visitors to my channel and you've stumbled across this video, I wanna welcome you personally. I'm a rising first year medical student who's interested in dropping some keys to success along my journey to help you secure your white coat. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing the secondary application to medical school. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, pre-medical students complete a general application called the primary application. A few videos ago, I discussed some tips that you guys can use to perfect your primary application. So check that out if you haven't already. But like I said, today we are gonna be focusing on the second phase of the overall application process. That is the secondary medical school application. By the end of this video, I'm gonna leave you with eight solid pieces of advice that I think every pre-medical student should take into consideration before they complete their secondary applications to any medical school that they desire to have a seat in. So you already know the drill. If you're new, here's what we do before we get started. Get you a pen, get you a piece of paper, and let's get to it. first need to break down exactly what the secondary application entails for those of us who are not completely familiar with the concept of applying to medical school. The medical school application process is essentially divided into three main parts. First, you have the primary application that you will complete using the application services mentioned in my previous video. The secondary application does come after the primary application. Secondary applications are also referred to as supplementary applications. And that means that it's going to be an opportunity for you to provide supplementary information about yourself and your specific interests in the specific medical schools that you listed in your primary application. What you're going to see when one is sent back to you after submitting your primary, you'll have a small group of essay prompts that are typically in the range of about 250 to maybe 500 words long. They are not very, very extensive by any means. However, the questions are geared toward understanding if you you are a great fit for the medical program that you're applying to. Some example questions that you'll see would be, what can you contribute to the diversity of XYZ's medical school campus? Why are you interested in pursuing a medical education at XYZ University's medical school? There may even be questions that ask you about certain challenges that you faced and how you overcame them and what lessons you learned from them. So those are the general questions that you will be asked during your secondary application process. With that being said, then once they receive the secondary application, they are going to review it and decide if they want to invite you to have an interview. So that's going to be the third and final phase of the overall application process to each school that you're interested in. Now that we understand what the secondary application is, what it's for, let's now jump into tip number one in preparing your medical school secondary application. Okay, so let's get into it. The quickest way for you guys to be prepared to actually have your secondary sent to you is to have some key information about each school that you've applied to readily accessible in one place. The pro tip that I have for you guys to be prepared is to create a document or spreadsheet to compile aggregates of information about these particular schools. Definitely want to include the school name. You also want to include a section about their mission statement, some of their values, the pros for you specifically for attending their school the cons that you would have for each school because let's be honest each school has their cons they're not perfect most importantly include a section in this document where you rank each school based on your desire to want to attend that institution while also highlighting those schools that you know for sure that you should have the easiest time getting a seat in what that's going to do is as you're completing your applications you'll be able to identify which schools that you want to send second secondary applications back to and how quickly you want to send them back to them.
Keep in mind, some schools send secondary applications back to you automatically. So the moment that they receive your primary application, you're gonna get a secondary. Be prepared to receive secondary applications almost immediately once your primary application was received. Now, other schools that actually do take a look at your primary application before sending you a secondary, they might take about a week or two to send you a secondary application. So if you sent off your application in June, expect to receive your secondaries no later than the first week of July. Each school has a deadline that they will specify to you about submitting your secondary application. Some schools even let you know that if you do not open your secondary application or even acknowledge that it's there, it will expire and you will no longer be able to complete the secondary application. It is in your best interest to send off your completed secondary application no later than two weeks after the date of receipt. So if you were sent a secondary application on July 1st, you need to ensure that your secondary application to that particular university or school of medicine is sent back completed no later than July 14th or 15th because the secondary application just like the primary application is another piece of information that has to hop in line behind thousands or in front of thousands of students who are interested in the same institution as you. So time is of the essence. However, we do want quality responses but also understand that you are in a bit of a time crunch when you are completing secondaries. conduct any additional research that you need to conduct for those specific institutions that you've applied to. What this means is that for those particular schools that you've applied to, there very well may be some gaps in your knowledge about what makes each school unique. When you're conducting any additional research, you want to focus on these core things. Number one, focus on the mission, statement, and the values of each particular school. Look at things like the programs that they offer for medical students. How are they preparing you for step one and step two? Are there any opportunities for you to personalize your medical school experience? Are you able to go to a satellite campus and do your clerkships at a satellite campus? What are those key things about the particular schools that you've applied to that make them worthwhile to pursue a medical education at for you specifically? There are four ways that you can further your understanding of these particular schools and what makes them unique. Number one, refer to the school's website. Now a disclaimer would be that a school's website is definitely a very polished perspective of what their school of medicine is going to be like. But the school's website is definitely your first go-to when trying to figure out what the particular school is about. Number two, I highly recommend you guys accessing the medical school admissions requirements database curated by the AAMC. There is a small fee that you have to pay in order to access the information. And I do believe the fee assistance program may also help you or provide you free access to MSAR. Second to last thing that you can use, do not forget about the current current and past medical students that have attended that institution. Last but not least, you are the prize. You do have a right as a medical school applicant to call up to those medical schools and, you know, be professional, but ask them, I'm a current applicant in this cycle and I have XYZ question about your university. Would you be able to assist me in answering this question? You'll be surprised that a lot of them will be pleased to directly speak to you. They will definitely welcome any questions that you have not been able to answer through the other streams of information that were just previously mentioned. Prepare your secondary responses as soon as possible. Once you send your primary application off, you can give yourself a couple of days to rest. You deserve it, but expect those secondaries to come in ASAP and you need to be preparing beforehand. The easiest way for you to prepare beforehand is to use the collection of internet databases that are actually available to you for free that have the particular secondary questions that each medical school uses. Examples of those internet databases would be medschoolinsiders.com, prospectivedoctor.com, and or current or past pre-medical students who applied to the same schools. Those are some of the resources off the top of my head that I can think of for you guys to use to be able to get a head start or a sneak peek of those unique prompts for each school. It would be in your best interest to use these databases and use them with discretion to be able to get an idea about what these 
particular schools ask students about when sending a secondary application to them. And again, what that's going to allow for you to do is just prepare in advance. So when you receive those secondaries back to back to back, you're not overwhelmed with trying to think on the spot about your responses. Preparing beforehand leads me to our next tip. All right, tip number five is going to be create specific responses to the specific schools. It's no secret that a lot of these prompts are going to be very, very similar depending on which schools you apply to. In fact, they might even be the same. So it's okay to copy and paste sections of a prior secondary application to the next. It's okay to do that. But what I suggest is if you copy and paste, read your secondary applications backwards. So skim through them in reverse to ensure that you have have made all the corrections for each particular medical school. But what you don't want to do is be that student who sends the University of Virginia's response to Howard's medical school. So that's a quick tip. Really, really check for those names, okay? Check for those names and program names. So if one particular school has a program, what you need to do is make sure you change not only school names, but program names and key pieces of information about each school that's specific to those schools. Because copying and pasting, again, is fine but do not copy and paste and forget to review what you've copied and pasted. Tip number six is for you to use the secondary application to discuss things that are not highlighted in your primary application. This is another opportunity for you to shine through to a medical school admissions committee. So you need to take complete control of this secondary application and put in information that was omitted from your primary application. We are so much more than 15 working activities. We are so much more than one personal statement. So there is some information about you that you did not get a chance to really develop in your primary application. The secondary application is the time for that. That new information is just going to further color the image of who you are to a medical school admissions committee. If you can take another opportunity to add some more interesting information that will further your chances of getting your white coat at that institution, if I were you, I would take that chance. All right, so we got to talk about money. Did you know that in order to send off your secondary, these medical schools want you to send more money? It's true. They are going to ask you to send somewhere between $75 to $100 to send off your medical school secondary application as well. The fee assistance program, I believe, has a component of it that will also assist you with reduction of costs for your secondary applications. So the same thing that I mentioned in my primary applications video, you want to get your coins together as soon as possible. Now, if you were already budgeting way before your medical school application process, then you would have accounted for the cost of the secondary application. If you are someone who did not account for that cost, I highly suggest you use all the available resources that you have to get your monies together. So if you need information about how much the secondary applications cost for each particular school, I highly suggest using, again, the medical school admissions requirement database from the double AMC and or you are more than welcome to call up to the specific schools and ask about the particular cost for sending off their secondaries and when they send you the secondary they're going to outline what it costs to send it back to them but I highly recommend not waiting until the secondary gets to you to find out how much it costs you go ahead and work on that information in advance so that way you have your money prepared and you are not lagging behind on submission because you didn't have your coins together. Last but not least, our final and most important tip is to have someone close to you, whether that be a peer, a mentor, a family member, a friend, review your secondary application responses. Allow them to read it and look for those most obvious errors in your grammar, spelling, punctuation, and formatting. Second thing that someone who's reviewing your secondary application needs to look for is the function of your response. Is it functioning in the way that is best 
that's going to craft the overall narrative about you and you as an applicant to that particular school. So really try to listen to their feedback and understand how your words are functioning as a unit before sending off your secondary application. Last but not least, ensure that you ask the person who's reviewing your work if your responses answer each question directly because you do not want to send off your secondary application and not answer the questions. The questions are specifically meant to gauge how well of a fit you are for the particular medical school that you're interested in. So you don't want to miss the opportunity of making your case stronger as a prospective medical student by not answering those questions. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this information. And most importantly, I hope you found it helpful. But before you get back to using this information and perfecting your secondary application, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up if you liked any of the information presented in this video and you found that it was useful to you in your application process. Most importantly, join my community, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another informative video like this one. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for taking time time out of your busy application cycle and listening to the tips that I had to offer today. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you guys are going to use your secondary applications to wow away an admissions committee somewhere across the nation. I wish you guys nothing but the best and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye.